Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn how to create a recipe which is based on auto tools using dev tool. So let us begin. In this video we are going to learn how to create and test the recipe. After that we are going to see dev tool limitations. So now let us begin. For this video I have chosen and other open source project from github this is a simple auto make auto, auto tools based project which has a simple output like simple if you see this main.cpp here you see that it is doing simple addition one of one comma one it means the output should be two so we are going to create a recipe for this project so first of all let me copy the URL and now we'll come back to our VS code and here first of all let me source the environment so we'll do source OE make so we are inside build folder now so to do that we'll do dev tool add and then the name of the recipe I will give auto auto tools example and then the link so here we are using the master branch that's why we have we don't need to give the branch name explicitly so now we will try to build the recipe using that tool So recipe has been created successfully. Let us check the recipe. It is inside workspace recipes and here we can see auto tools example and here we have our recipe. So as you can see that it has added all necessary information that we need. It has also took the license here automatically and license file as well as the inherit the auto tools class that we need to we require to build our current auto tool make base project and it also gives us extra oe conf if we need to pass some configuration to the uh, if we want to pass some uh, options to the configuration script and auto tools so this uh, video is not about auto tools but how to create a recipe for the auto tools based project so what we'll do is we will try to build this first so we'll do dev tool build auto tools example so uh, we should keep in mind that the output binary of this example will be main so it it the name will be the of the binary will be the main because the name of the file is the main.cpp that's why it will be the name it will be named as main not auto tools dot uh, auto tools example so if we go to our board first of all and if we see do we have main which means so we don't have any output so that's why first of all let us build it and check it so it is building and it has been built successfully now we will deploy it to our target dev tool deploy target name of the recipe auto tools example and then the ssh to our machine 192.168.7.4 so this time it requires password because in our machine we have set the password this password once more 
Okay, successfully deployed. Now we will check it here once more, which means so this time as you can see that we have here user bin main. Now let us try to run this main. Okay, so this time we have an error. The error says main error while loading shared libraries. This cannot open shared object files. No such file and directories. So why this happened? Because our main program, this main program needs this lib std c++ and it does not exist. So here comes the limitation of DevTools. When we use DevTool deploy target, it only deploys the final binary to the target to test. It does not send all the necessary files that are required to run that file, that final binary. So this is the limitation of DevTool. So to test this, what we can do is we can now add uh, this DevTool example here in our uh, this auto tools example in our local.conf we'll do local uh, we'll do auto tools example and we'll save this first of all now we will try to run this uh, we will try to build our whole image and after building the whole image we will test our image once more to do this we'll do bit bake core image full command line so now it will build it and in the meantime i will just log out from my machine because we need to flash the new image so it is building and we will wait until it is being built So the image has been built successfully now i will set up my machine and then we will test it once more so now i am inside my machine and let me do which test uh, which main and it is available now and then i will run main so as you key as you can see that this time it has executed the code and there is no library error it means that when we have created the whole image the necessary required uh, libraries and other packages are also add and install to the final image but that's why we can see result this time here this is a simple example but sometimes it can happen that you need to add something for example r depends some packages that depends for runtime and you need to add and uh, you ha you need to pass some oe conf options that depends from project to project code to code so that's what we need to try and run and we need to figure out so this is not uh, uh, i believe that it will not be that much complicated to create a recipe but what we need to keep in mind that we need sometimes it can happen that we need to pass some extra options or parameters or we need to add something for example or depends uh, some packages or softwares or library that our that our main or our code needs to require while running 
so this is all about this video i hope you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching